What is up, guys? Um, my last, uh, the first few minutes of, uh, my, uh, filming didn't really go as smoothly, so, um, I'm redoing this, but, um, you didn't really miss much, you just, uh, missed me moving my army forward. Uh, so, what will happen is that this army will replenish, because I just took that place, as you saw in the last video, um, and we will hit Warsaw with everything we got. And it seems like uh, it'll, it, the French, uh, they're going to be with us for a bit. I don't, uh, we're hostile with the Russian Empire. I'm pretty sure I can be go, begin to be very good uh, acquaintances with the British. Uh, let's invade them later. That'll be a great uh, campaign there. Uh, wait, let me just mute my TV. I was, listen, I was watching Greatest Presidents. I like that show, so, um, yeah, I'm a historian, I like history, history is cool, wow, I'm sorry, my mic, the wire on my mic is just freaking messing everything up, yeah, um, yeah, um, next week will probably be our next special, uh, weekly specials, that's what I like putting up. Um, tell me what game to play for our weekly special. Ooh, and attack their Prussian army right there. And we can auto-resolve this, because they are almost about to be all dead. And we take down their best army with just the flick of a button. Or not button, but... Uh, he got confident general, attacking general, so now he's a level 4 general. Uh, this army should be uh, replenishing better. I'll make, um, I think I'm going to make some uh, Swiss Grenadiers. Grenadiers are pretty much one of my favorite units because they have that grenade ability. And that grenade ability could mean everything. And what I am going to do here is just um, attack them outside of it. But they'll be able to attack me on the side. Um, let's start this battle. So what will probably happen is that I'll move um, in a hook formation just like uh, actually just like the uh, Gettysburg because see they're gonna probably be attacking from this way I'm not this uh, crap money they're gonna probably be attacking from this way so they'll be going from here these guys will probably going to go this side more few sh uh, few people will go on this side so um, yeah this will be a cool battle uh, get to see me go in one of my favorite formations of all time, a Gettysburg formation. And with Swiss Grenadiers here, they'll be... Uh, going right here. Come on, put that there. These guys are going to be my hook formation on this side. But they're going to move up, obviously. Because, yeah. These guys will strengthen this um, part. Uh, actually, no, we have a few over there. So, we should be... Wet powder. Oh crap. This will be. It's rain! <laughs> it's always a challenge to fight in rain. So, yeah, Gettysburg Formation. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, read up or watch History Channel. <laughs> and these guys will be probably. Okay, so, yeah, like, as I said, they're not going to be strengthening this position at all, because there's only three, so they're just going head-on on that side, so I can just keep, um, two more garrisons here. Not garrisons, but two more things here. Probably a Swiss line here to booster everything. I like Swiss line. They're like red coats. Red coats look cool. But this will probably be the deciding factor right here. But I don't want to, like, boost that part up so much that this part will... Actually, we have a pretty good chance. Pretty good chance. Let's start this shit. Oh, and I forgot to unlimber my horse artillery. And it seems like they're not... Oh, never mind. They shouldn't unlimber. Because then they're just going to be up there. <laughs> they're not going to be as good. Yeah, um, I'll fix that later. Um, obviously, they're not going to come for a while, so I have time to set up my army uh, there. So, with this setup, I'm going with the hook formation, as always, one of my favorite hook formations. 
from the Battle of Gettysburg. And Gettysburg is the coolest battle ever, if you know um, what I am saying. These guys will be a scouting force, a uh, scouting force, which would mean that we should have two garrisons right here. No, nope, two right here. But the one that's moving to the end will probably be this one. Wait. This one? Yeah, this one's going to the end. And I want them to actually bolster that flank also. So we're going with the splinter formation. Or a Y. Something I've never done before. And hopefully it will be something good. But see, as you can see, they are just missing. I'll limber them up and tell them to move right over here. But these guys, um, this side is not, I'll try to close in on a pincer here so I can, uh, support them more. Uh, with the pincer, let's see, yep, there we go, nice pincer close, um, and we can probably close it in just like this, and the choke points will. kill them hopefully and I do have some um, horses I plan on using right now because that's only three units except they're coming at us from behind that's Lancers Ulans whatever you want to call them they are just coming at us from nowhere I thought they were gonna come up from there instead they come at us from behind with their cavalry so um yeah this is cool <laughs> Um, a strategic mistake that I have done. So, um, yeah. Let me just go in a square formation here. And, uh, we should be able to repel them. They're just lancers. They are not... Oh, now there's musketeers over there. I will be putting my forces up differently to copy that. Um, I want to actually put them up just like that. Their horses are obviously going to pound right into my face. And, um, they get run down into it. They need to run. I swear, they do need to run. And, uh, my horses, which are right over here, I want them to run down. Actually, no, I want them to charge into the musketeers before they can get a few shots at my line infantry. And, of course, they are coming in with no avail. And I just bolstered my front so much that it's just no use. They won't even fire, trust me. I know this. They won't fire. Uh, these guys will come to bolster the back. I know this thing will not work because I was just too late on the return. <laughs> this will be a cool battle. And there are some Lancers over there charging into my flanks. These guys will go into square. And, of course, um, they're losing so many men. Um, we get them to route. We're going to go into Opalkine. And we're using their numbers against them right now. Because I know their numbers are huge. Very big numbers. So um, I want to kind of use this choke point because they're not getting all their armies in at once. To just kill their guys all at the same time. Get this done very fast. And a nice charge. They break. But um, those guys are just going to be a nuisance. Uh, so what I'll do is just... I'm not going to try to lose a general. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing you could do. I want to get my Swiss Grenadiers here. Tell them to attack these guys. Well, attack these guys. Just go up here. Um, yeah, so lose that flank over there. We're moving up here uh, to kind of choke them out. Trust me. Choking them out is what you want to do. Now we just charge into there all at once. They do not know what's coming. Just huge horses. Boom, boom. They're not even put down. They're not even in square. And I can do this as fast as I want. This will be a battle that goes into my hands, hands down. Because their numbers, they would have killed me if they um, got all of them all at once. But instead, I used their numbers against them to win. And over here, um, these guys are actually getting some fire sh uh, shots fired off. I want to kind of uh, form up here to actually shoot them from two sides. These guys, oh, my cannons aren't even firing. That's pretty stupid of me. A person who forgets about their cannons. You want to kind of form them up right on this hill. 
be defended. And I'm kind of going to move these guys up to here so they can just get some shots fired off. And I'll have them run because uh, I really need to win this battle. And these guys obviously are going to support their flanks from this side. Go up from here. They're going to run. This will be a strategic victory. Using their numbers against them, um, I win, basically. Yep. And these guys, I don't know why they're on... No. Shoot at the fuckers. Wow, they're all on a... Okay, so these guys are a bit low on troops. I don't know how they lost it. Oh, they lost, like... Oh, yeah, because cavalry charged into them, so they won't be able to get as much uh, shots fired off. And we're obviously going to get those guys up. We are going to have them go right over here, try to get these guys all into formation all along this room uh, row so we can just course their effect all upon them. And then we have the rest of them just knock back those guys. They are all going to just die one by one. They all fall down. And this is going to be a really cool battle. And they are all routing. Time to solidify that route with the cavalry charge right through them. Um, I'll get my general out to this. Have some fun here. A hey, general deserves some fun. <laughs> and let's see what's happening. They're trying to hammer and anvil us, but I think it'll come to no avail because now they're getting shot at from both sides. And by getting shot at from both sides, we win this battle. And I think I'll run these guys through right here. Let I try getting close to them. And my uh, guys here are going to unlimber their artillery. And this is probably my most favorite battle yet. And we did run them off because that was close to the map. We are going to regroup my horses, um, save them for another battle. And that was probably the best battle ever. Yeah. So they tried to save their um, army that was coming in to resupply, but I just attack them and they tried to save them. It comes to no avail. They just all die. And now all of them will charge on the last of them. <laughs> And they'll all charge on that. And let's fast forward. This charge is the final kick to the blow. And that's their general unit that's still alive. But all of them charging in at once. Let's watch this. They're firing at them to no avail. I like saying no avail. And boom! That should make them route. The next one right around here. That should make them route. And they are getting just surrounded with them from all sides. This was a strategic victory of all sorts. But they get saved. They try to save their um, general here. That's end battle. They end battle. And let's continue. I want to see this one. And boom. There's no chance of him going back. Oh, and they are still going to be okay. <laughs> Let's attack them. They're going to be in square, of course, but I basically just decimated their general unit with a charge from th uh, seven battalions all at once. This is a thousand people just charging at you against 300. Again, with cannon also firing at you. This is the best strategic victory I have ever had without losing much men. This is probably a proud victory. Yes, a proud victory. And bang, they all get charged at, but they all run when they see them, because my guys are scary. <laughs> and um, that is it, they all get run down. And that's a diamond there, let's quit the battle, close victory. And what else is here? Yep, we only lose about 822, I lose 822 per attack for some reason. Greatest battle of all time. As you can see, Battle of ISI. And we automate that. We kill them. We are always um we are all 
low on men. So we might die. <laughs> Yes, so we're just going to go through here. And how about this army right here? They are going to attack Osai Little Terari, which is unprotected. We take it. Uh, 2,500. It's a victory. And the Kanat of Crimea, Odessa. Peaceful Occupy. I don't care about those things. And my two-pronged attack has been successful. We take the Crimea Kanat. And what can we do next? Well, this army will be making a freaking punch to Bucharest. This army will be smoking out to Moscow, which is right there. So uh, this army will just eliminate the front. Just kind of make this whole place ours. So yeah, we are victorious today. What else can we do? Oh, wait a second. Yep, we're good there. That needs to be repaired. I wonder how we're doing over here. That's, uh, can be... Oh, sweet, we can make 86... We are, can already make those. Okay. So I'll just be going for a steam engine then. Uh, wait, what, did we, what was this guy on? Grand battery? I don't give a shit. Make a steam engine. I want a ship that will pummel any ship on the land. What do I have here? Ooh, I have a 64 gun going into the first army of Italy. That's its title. And the new, uh, in the merchantmen's. Nah, we're gonna build the merchantmen's in, uh, the, this harbor. You know why? Two parts and, nope, you can't make them. I thought you could. Damn. You could do, uh, you can make trade ships and military ports and shogun. So I thought, uh, yeah. Construction, we need to get limited liability corpse, which will be right here. Uh, so, yeah, once Graz is done with that, we make a military academy, we build one. He's While that's happening, we make a. We do the joint stock company. <laughs> uh, or Perugia. Perugia might go faster. I don't know. But Perugia is on. Uh, wait, Florence is the one that will go faster. Because that has all the good stuff. Yeah. The court of Acropolis. Here, they're going to build a drill school. Yep. All I know is that it increases the oppression. And when you have increased oppression, it's good. And also, you can make troops anywhere if you have those. Uh, yeah, which is probably my goal. Make a good uh, source. And why are they all drill schools? That's another one I don't get. Conscript infantry tactics. Oh, so Rome has the better school. Wait, no, Rome does not. <laughs> here we are going to make a trade union, uh, whatever you call it. Oh, and here we have our uh, new 86-gun ship of the line. We're going to make another one. This is what... This is where we're making our war machines at the harbor of Genoa? No. That's a trade ship place. I'm going to build the... Uh, three turns to take uh, Indiamans. Here we're going to make Indiamans three turns. I'm going to make a trade fleet. What the hell? Yeah, a trade fleet. A huge trade fleet because I have tons and tons of ports. This place has another 86 gun that is going into the main uh, uh, main uh, fleet. But yep, they're going to get trade fleets. We're going to have increased trade. We might also lose some ships to a piracy. And demons, because they can fight for themselves. Now, 86 guns do take less time, uh, do take more time, same amount of time, but you can make four at a time, which is why I'm making them right now. And a steamship would be cool, so that's why I'm also making... Wait, what? No, you can make 106 guns if you are in Britain, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you could. That's weird. Uh, who cares? Uh, what else? Oh, here, we need to build that, Court of Justice, what else is going on here? We don't have that, but we did have one of our greatest battles there, and we are rebuilding there. We are going to make a dry, uh, dockyard here, or a dry dock after that, so we have a bit of a... No, actually, this would be way better if it was a trade import, because you see, there's furs, there's furs, so if I can bring in a whole 
bunch of trading fleets there. I'll get furs and I could control the Black Sea. Yes, all political. Tycoonist. And we're gonna have the people go over there. I wonder if these guys can move still. Nope, they can't. Let's go to the next turn. See how everything goes. And, um, yeah. After this turn, uh, let's see. Ooh, now they can't beat me. Auto resolve. Let me kill them. Yeah! The Prussians can't win. <coughs> oh, sorry. Also, I like pumping out these videos like four a day. Gets like you guys get to see more after it. So if you see the whole series, I think this will be um, part thirteen. The Kingdom of Portugal. I refuse that offer. Stop. I don't want to go to war. Thank you for watching. This has been me doing me. Thank you. All.